In addition to broadening the number of access points and entities doing vaccinations, we are also trying to ramp up the number of vaccinators, as I've said before, by recruiting retired medical personnel. And just to repeat, Madam Speaker, we will be launching uh, a national call for vaccinators. And this is not just in Jamaica. We're calling on the huge resource that we have in our diaspora. In fact, Madam Speaker, many of our nurses that have left here gone to the United States and the United Kingdom to work. Now would be an excellent opportunity for them to come back and participate in this national vaccination program. Now would be a good time for them to come back and participate. Our call, you remember, you know, you got your education and training and exposure and the name of Jamaica. So it will be good. And, and the, the truth is, Madam Speaker, that, you know, it, it's always inspiring. There are a number of Jamaican doctors and nurses who have been calling to say, how can we help? How can we help? They have, they have been calling our embassies and consulates, and they are quite frustrated because our system is not designed for government to incorporate them in, in helping. What, what you find more often than not is that the NGO sector works very well, but government systems aren't so well coordinated because they have regulatory, legal, and you know, other differences. So it's very difficult to bring them in. But with this national program, all of that will be worked out so that they could come and assist seamlessly. So, Madam Speaker, we're also looking at the appointment system to see how it can be approved and simplified to encourage more persons to make appointments for vaccinations either online or via the call centre. We have a hundred persons that are dedicated to manning the call centre phones. So, you know, much of the, 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 the bundling that we see at the, call, at the vaccination sites could be reduced if persons were to utilize the pre-registration and the appointment system. Uh, this would help to regulate the flow of persons so that crowds of persons do not arrive at the same time and have hours to wait. Madam Speaker, I now turn to the measures. And, but, but before I do that, Madam Speaker, 